right, so I'm going to cut this out as a profile. And I could cut this out as a drill, but I want holding tabs to be inside of this so I can, um, this can, this can be held in and not uh, pop up and jam the machine. So I want to make sure that it is a, um, it's a profile. I do two profiles there. Um, the first one is the roughing again, A roughing. And the second profile is the A finishing. And you're probably wondering why I put A. It's just because I want it at the top because I use that more often than other, other ones. And you'll also notice that um, this is separate. This is uh, exploded. It's not um, joined. And uh, what we need to do is make sure we join all of these, these line segments and arcs. And you can select all of them. So uh, that's one thing that Inventor doesn't do is, is join and close, uh, make them into polylines. So we want to do that. So we're going to join. And I put 0 0.001 as the, as the tolerance. So now it should be joined. OK, so now we can go ahead and do a profile here. OK, and this is a roughing, and this is a finishing. You'll also notice something very interesting. I'm pressing Control T to, um, to generate the toolpaths. <coughs> You'll notice that only the finishing is able to fit through this opening here. And um, I'm going to keep it the way it is, because I'm not really too um, concerned about it. Uh, but if you are and you want that inside line to be perfect, then you're going to, you're going to want to uh, make this the separation at least 0.28, so you can get both the finishing and roughing through it. The only uh, problem that I'll have is my uh, roughing goes pretty quickly through, and it um, if it goes too quick through uh, through material that's that's full depth, it may get. Uh, it may get jammed, so I may actually have to spread those op open, or maybe even make the this particular feed rate um, slower, which I'll probably do. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna err on the side of caution here. So my roughing is let's see, what is the feed rate? Feed rate is 180 inches per minute. So I'm gonna take the 200 and bring it down to 180 just for this particular. Um, just for this uh, machining operation. I'm pressing Control T again just to see if it. Yeah, well, I'm not going to see any changes, but. Pressing alternate and double clicking will give you, get, get you back into a normal view. I probably don't need as many um, holding tabs here, but I'm going to keep them anyway. The ones with the X's in them will not will not actually route so or show up in uh, the fabrication. So you have to move it away from what is causing it to not work. And it was this small corner here. When I press Control T again, it'll disappear. So I'm going to do that to this one as well. Control T, and I'm going to go ahead and start on this part. Um, it's probably a good idea to create a new part just so you can have separation and you can also individually have these um, um, you can have individual files, NC files for these parts so you can run them uh, individually. So I'm going to do these holes first. These are per, um, exactly 0.25 and my end mill is 0.25 so I'm only going to do one drill and I have a special um, style just for that, and it's called a uh, it's called drill straight, and it's not a spiral; it's a canned cycle. So it will just go down and then up. It won't do any uh, spiraling at all. So it'll just 
go down and up. Now I don't have any pecking involved in this where it, it goes down and up until it goes all the way to the bottom. Um, I'm, I don't seem, or I don't feel, or I haven't seen the, uh, the need for doing a spiral or a pecking in, in this type of wood that I use. Now we're going to do the final profile. This is a roughing, and then the last one is finishing. Press Control T to see the toolpaths. And this one, this tab will just be cut off by this routing on the this other piece, so or there won't be any material there to actually, because this one's cut first. There won't be any, any material there to, to create a tab, so you have to move the tab off of that. So now you have all of this material to, to make tabs. Okay, now we're going to create the file and run it on the machine. So we're going to go to machining. It's probably a good idea to save this file first, so I'm going to save as and this is probably a good name. It's going to give a .cv uh, extension to the file. Press save. And we're going to go to machining. Produce G-code. And it'll ask you where you want the G-code. And I'm going to put it in where my machine is. So I'm just going to put it in the public folder here and press save. And now we can go ahead and cut these parts out. and see what we get. Here's the parts that were just fabricated, and you also um, heard in the, uh, the the routing process or the machining process that it it had to reroute this during the finishing process, and it was pretty um, pretty loud when it was when it was going through. So you would hear a little bit of um, just a little bit of cutting here, and then it would um, have aggressive cutting here, and then it would come back. So it's, it's better to make sure that this is, is wide enough to do roughing and finishing. But everything turned out well. One problem that I just uh, determined was this is supposed to be an inside cut, not an outside cut. You can see that this is really thin. So I didn't actually get that right in the camming of it. So I'm going to have to go back and, um, and make sure that it is an inside cut, not an outside cut. Just to round out this video, I'm going to show you the um, correct the mistake that I made with the inside or outside 
cutting of the circle. So this is the circle we're talking about. And um, these are the two machining operations. So I'm going to select both of them. And I can actually just make this, instead of outside, I'll make it inside. Uh, but I would rather change it to the um, the profiles that I have set up, the styles that I have set up. So I would start with the roughing, and then I would go back with the finishing. And this is the inside profile, so I've made styles for the inside of the profile, not the outside of the profile. So now that it'll cut on the on the inside of the circle rather than the outside, cutting it correctly. So that's how you use in, um, Inventor, Autodesk Inventor, and uh, CamBam together to fabricate um, parts using the Green Bull CNC machine. Thank you for watching.